That's crazy. Look at look at that color. It's pretty cool to see it like this. Though. Oh, here we go. Damn. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got something pretty special going on. But first, but first, I know you guys always enjoyed the cold starts of the single cab while we have the exhaust off. I plan on putting all the exhaust back on this weekend so we can drive it and have some fun with it again because it's been a couple days since I've really been able to move it from the spot. It's just too loud to do anything with it. So I'm gonna give you guys a cold start. We're gonna get a cold start of the single cab or the silver truck today. And then we're meeting up with a friend of ours that you guys can obviously tell on the title and the thumbnail. We've got something pretty special planned today, so let's let's get into it. My haircut's not bad, but I just really like wearing hats right now. I don't know what my deal. I feel I've always been a hat fan. I don't know. Is, is that weird? Good to keep some uh, keep some gas circulating through that thing. It's cold and rainy today, but we're on the grind anyway. Let's get a cold start of the. Not bad, not bad at all. I do have a tip that I'm planning on putting on this sometime this weekend. I'm gonna film that video probably Saturday, so you, put, so you guys will probably see the new tip on the truck on Sunday, but we gotta go, we gotta head probably about 30 minutes to go meet up with this guy. So uh, I'm gonna hop on the road and I'm gonna be there. I'm excited. So it took us a couple minutes to get over to the spot and I live right by this abandoned steak and shake and it, it really, I'm not sure why it's abandoned. I'm, I'm assuming they just went out of business or something, but it seems really cool that there's, you know, we can just pull up in the drive through window. But uh, enough about steak and shake. The whole point of the video today is my boy pulled up on us with both of his trucks today. And this is something I've been trying to get on the channel for a while because I have a secret love for dualies. I just, in the back of my mind, in the bo bottom of my heart, I just have a secret love for dualies because she likes it wide. I mean, every everybody likes wide trucks and nothing gets wider than a dually does. I mean, my truck is, is pretty nice and you know, I'm that wide bow tie, but I'm never gonna be wider than a dually. So before we get into it, huge shout out to my guy, Peter, for coming through. I think, I think Peter67. So y'all go follow my guy, Peter67, on Instagram. We're gonna take a look at his one of one painted truck. I mean, it's it's got a hundred inch track bars, custom painted truck. I mean, it, and it's and it's just getting started. He just told me off camera that he's got some huge plans for it coming in the next couple of months. And it's gonna be sitting a lot bigger, a lot wider. I mean, just a lot prettier overall in general. So we're gonna jump into this build and uh, see what he's got going on. So when I when I start when I start these videos, I mean, one of the main things that I really look at are the color. I mean, something that always pops to me right away is the color of a truck. The color on this truck is insane. It's a it's a custom painted, it's actually a, a spray on bed liner that he has. This like almost desert tan color. Let me see if it'll focus. This desert tan bed liner. And the whole truck has done that. All the accents, all the fender flares, the mirrors, the bumpers, everything. It's all this custom tan, Bedliner, and honestly, I've never seen any truck like this. The only truck that I've seen that's close to something like this is HB Roland, and he's got that Hulk green. But other than those two trucks, I've never really seen anything like that. One of my other favorites is you guys know how much I love red, but he's got the all red McGoy's lift kit on here. We got the uh, torsion bars up front, all the spacers, the springs, they're all custom painted. They're painted, not powder coat. This nice candy red, and I, I literally, I mean, it's just the most beautiful thing to me. This red really pops with that tan, and it just, the, the color combination on this is insane. I've never seen anything like this before. And yes, you guys did hear me say that he's got 100 inch traction bars. These are custom built 100 inch traction bars with that same custom red paint and some kind of, some kind of an orange sparkle 
it looks like that we've got on the uh that's crazy look at look at that color i know that i mean even on camera y'all can see that color that's that's so beautiful that's crazy that orange is insane with we got the like the little uh almost like a bombshell back there damn that's so cool and then of course being a dually we got six wheels everybody i'm telling you everybody loves the duallys i i secretly really hope one day that i can get a dually just so i can be the true that wide bow tie because you're never that wide bow tie until you're the widest and i never claim to be the widest i'm just that one you know what i mean but we got some uh looks like some 22 or probably 24 inch fuels all the way around damn always got to have a gen y hitch on the back i mean what are you doing if you don't have a gen y hitch on the back custom painted brackets on the back I mean, this truck is is just amazing. Looks like we got at least three rock lights per wheel well, plus plus whatever's under the truck. I mean, just just such a beautiful truck. Looks like maybe some Alpha Rex headlights too. Hey, Team Alpha Rex, let's go. lights is inevitably at some point you're going to have to fix one i mean it's it's inevitable you know my truck the front two brackets weren't on as tight as they needed to be the first time around and you know you guys know that story so the tahoe i'd say two weeks ago maybe a month ago one of the wheel lights went out on that one so you know we hit up lighting trends they sent one out asap so huge shout out to lighting trends and um again huge shout out to uh peter 67 for meeting up with us earlier like i said he's got a lot of big big plans for the truck so make sure you guys stay tuned, follow him on Instagram to, you know, keep up with the build. But today, it's late at night, but we're, we're always working. We're, uh, got a wheel off and we're fixing a wheel light tonight. It is what it is. We get this bread, baby. This hurts my, hurts my soul to rip this off. Like it really just, it's like a sin to rip this off. Damn. Hey, but old one's off. New one going on. It's pretty cool to see it like this. Oh, here we go. I just want to make sure the stuff actually works. That looks so cool on camera. Damn. 